Hello, everybody. Chris is very here, and it is. May the fourth be with you. Yes, May the and fourth. You. Where else will we be but Hollywood Studios? That's right. Celebrate Star Wars, among other things. Let's get to it. Be sure to be one with the force, the force of you. You heard the girl. From us up for the merch store, which is over by the Muppets Courtyard. There's only 1,098 parties in front of us. Small wait. It's hot. It's very hot. I went to your two of your cosmic rum punches. Yeah, beautiful. And no sugar cube? I've been using them. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Warner. I gotta move everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's hot. Don't forget to hydrate yourself. You can ask for a glass of water anywhere that you go. They put ice in it, which is great. And then you can just keep getting ice and letting it melt and have cold water all day long. This is the greatest gift you could ever give men. It's water. So water. You come into Florida, or even if you're Floridian, you should be drinking a cup of water for every alcoholic drink that you have today. Trust me, water will always be a five out of five clause. I should really learn to follow my own advice at the same time. Water will always be my bare necessities list. Once more, the Sith will rule the galaxy. This cosmic punch is really good and you know how I can tell you that it's really good? Because there's coconut rum in it, and I'm not making oatmeal cookie face. It kind of tastes like a Goombay Smash. I don't know why every drink tastes like a Goombay Smash to me that has like a little bit of tropical in it, but I really like this. It's just a nice tropical rum drink. Come to the dark side. We have the tropics. Four to five Death Stars. What will not be on my bare necessities list is glow cubes. I will have to check today if you can still do it, but previously during Star Wars weekends, you can still get these drinks without the glow cube, usually for around two to three dollars off. So if you don't like these things, because I don't, you don't need them, the drinks are cheaper. Ooh. That is cosmically refreshing. Reminds me of those uh, icicle pops in plastic you used to cut the tips off. Just not as cold. Close though. A little hint of coconut rum, not too much on overpowering. Everything mixes as well. Three and a half out of five falls. I'll do this again. Yes. Okay, Donna's going to be in the outfit right now. Right, so Traveler, welcome to the next thing. Appreciate the outfit. How are you? Do you have any good down in the outfit? Oh, yeah. These are the alcohols on the top, okay? Okay. All right, there you go. Enjoy. I'm gonna start with the milk that I like the least, the blue milk. Ooh, a little strong on the top. To me, it still tastes like the smell of soap. It's not my jam. I'm not team blue milk. I give it two out of five hoffs. It's all right. 100% team blue milk. Because if you come to Batu, 
and you don't get a blue milk stash, what are you doing? <sighs> Clearly, people who think this tastes like so this soap or detergent have never tasted it. I know I'm not explaining that. Four to five balls. Now this is my jam. Ever since the first time I tried this green milk, we have been best friends. Ooh yeah. It's like four out of five Dagobus. Yes, yes. So this putrid looking green milk, which will never be as good as the blue milk, as much as the princess wants it to be. It's tropical. But it's more like a kid's drink. It's not gonna take the skin off a gun dark. Three and a half out of five plus. Now we have the Gold Squadron Lager, which I believe we had at uh, Oga's opening day of Batu. Um, I will drink this drink in honor of the Bad Batch. Nice, floral, refreshing, great on a hot day, better than the Sons of Tatooine. Three out of five clone troopers. As much as I'm happy about Bad Batch coming out, I can't wait until we get the Road Squadron drop. This drink's for the As I try not to drip, drip brown sweat to my beer. I usually hate floral beers. This is just floral enough without being too hoppy. It's a perfect sort of contrast to the heat today. I can deal with this. Three and a half out of five plus. While we were waiting for our virtual time for the store, which is really nice considering the store I believe is like at a location where we used to go to Star Wars weekend stores, but the virtual queue would have been a lot nicer back then. So I'm, I'm glad about that. We were online on Shop Disney this morning for the May the 4th drop. Everything dropped at 10, 10 a.m. Eastern. I got the Star Wars Spirit jersey, I pre-ordered the Dark Side ears, Bear and I already got the Bad Batch Magic Band as well. So the only thing that we're really hoping to get here at the store with our virtual pass is the May the 4th Magic Band. They only made a thousand of them and we had more than a thousand of people ahead of us. So the likelihood of us getting it is slim to none. Like this video to give us some luck on those Magic Bands. Or like this video in case we fail so we can feel better about it. such a hot day today you guys but we got to stop at the Hyperion popcorn stand and guess what they serve alcohol because I, I know everybody likes to drink at Epcot but really the places to drink are Animal Kingdom and Hollywood Studios you can get alcohol every day so I got uh, rum and Sprite 
Cheers. Mm. It just tastes like flavored water, which is absolutely amazing. Look at this. And um, I'm ready to take on some Jedi scum. Three out of five Bacardis. Hollywood truly is a drinker spark. What it makes up for, or what it lacks in area, size, it makes for an options. A Hyperion stand has popcorn, your regular soda fountain drinks, and it advertises a Jack and Coke or a Bacardi and Coke, but they're not really picky. So any soda on their fountain line, you could have gotten a rum and Fanta orange if you like, which is a personal favorite of mine, but it's one of those days I need whiskey. But first, let's start with the rum. It's clear, refreshing, got little bubbles in it. It's not one of those little tasting drinks. This is a drink drink. The rum pairs well with uh, the lemon and lime soda. It's almost like candy. Three out of five plus. A little bit too sweet for me, but still good. Now Bear got the Jack Daniels with Sprite. It, it looks aight. It just tastes like Jack Daniels. Whew, definitely stronger than my Bacardi. I will give it two out of five whiskeys. Then we have Jack Daniels and Sprite. Jack Daniels and Sprite, a load of ice. <sighs> this is the kind of whiskey you need on a hot day. Also, three out of five plus. So we have the intergalactic popping corn. This is only available May 4th and 5th. I went through the ingredients. It is vegan. They have Oreos in it. What's up? All right, so let's open up this space bag here. I love the coloration. Like, you can't really tell, but here you can tell it's all rainbowy and stuff. I messed up this bag. Okay. I feel like this is one that you have to kind of like mix up because you can see layers of like nuts and Oreos and stuff. So I'm gonna try and like do the thing you're not supposed to do and just kind of like stick my whole hand in the bag. Eh. Okay, so I got a nut, but I want an Oreo too. Okay, Oreo, nut, and popcorn together. Oh my, whoa. Wow. Ooh. So it's like, if those salted almonds, oh my gosh, I need to drink this. If those um, almonds, like not the almonds, the, the roasted almonds, yes, that you get in the stands, if you had those with sriracha and a little bit of um, Oreo, this is basically what this is. Sweet, spicy, tangy toffee but spicy like I'm still feeling the heat I want to say like a six out of ten on the spice scale bear probably won't agree with me I do think that this popcorn has a nice like sweet and spice tang balance a little bit better than the original popcorn that we tried on Batu from Galaxy's Edge initially open. We'll put a link to that in the description box down below. This popcorn, I would rate a two out of five tattooing suns. It's pretty decent. This is a super long ingredients list, but I do like the whole space bag look. Oh, it smells like a whole buttload of flavors. Caramel, spice, butter. Ugh. In case you guys are wondering why you've never really seen us eat popcorn on the channel because I absolutely despise popcorn every fiber of my being. But for you guys, I'm gonna try this anyway. You need to get all the things. I'm digging for all the things. Mm. 
Gotta find an Oreo piece in here. Two kinds of popcorn, a pecan, spiced I'm assuming, and Oreo. Two out of ten on the spice scale. To me personally, tastes like popcorn has been dropped on the floor. And yes, I also know what that tastes like. One and a half out of five plus for me. As far as popcorn goes, it's probably an average. My my voiding is heavily based on the fact that I hate popcorn. I'll give it a three out of five plus for the rest of you guys because I just cannot stand popcorn. Friends, let me introduce you to Le Wobbly Table because this is my luck. Anyway, popping corn. Now I had to get the Star Wars Z popping corn bucket. I actually have not purchased a popping corn bucket since like 2017. Um, the cool thing about these things are they are $2 to refill for the duration of your trip. So as long as you keep your bucket, take it with you to each park, you can just pay the $2. It makes a great snack. It's super filling. So I uh, do recommend getting you some popcorn. It is vegan. It is the pop secret popcorn. If you are wondering what kind of popcorn to get at home to give yourself that same Disney experience, it's your regular Disney uh, pop secret buttered popcorn because the butter is like margarine, I think, vegan. Cheers. Oh. Mm. Reminds me of the movie theater popcorn. I eat movie theater popcorn without that watery, grossy margarine butter. I don't know what it's called. Buttered flavored oil. Buttered flavored oil? Mm. It's not even butter. It's not even butter. Mm -hmm. Too many allergies to worry about. It's well, just butter flavored oil. That's why movie theater butter is vegan, because you're just eating straight oil. But this is what it tastes like prior to you putting that straight oil on top of it or any seasonings or whatever. This is a, a classic. You should mix this with like some candy or something and get your popcorn on. I would eat one of these in a day and be full and not have to like go table service or anything. Big win for the popcorn, five out of five corns. Mostly because Bear hates it. So I guess that my hate of popcorn deserves some sort of background. My second job ever in life was uh, at an AMC movie theater and I worked there for five years. I've done it all. I've tore your tickets, sold your tickets, done projection, and was a manager of the concession stand. I have made literally thousands of batches of popcorn. I've come home smelling like it. The smell? Ugh. I understand why people like this stuff, but I hate it with every fiber of my being, both in taste and principle. It's your standard popcorn. It tastes like it's been sitting there for a while. It probably added a little bit too much oil and not enough salt. Two out of five plus. It's the perfect lounge flight because it has the best movie emblem on the front. Yes, The Empire Strikes Back is the best Star Wars movie. If you don't agree with me, tell me which one is your favorite in the comments. This is the frozen rum berry lemonade. It has Bacardi rum and lemonade and strawberry puree in a nice little slush with a sugar rim. Oh yeah, it tastes very artificial, like strawberry syrup, but pretty good. This is a win. I'd probably give it two out of five strawberries. This frothy mess here is probably what I would have ordered had the princess not gotten it. This delicious looking strawberry lemonade all frozen like little crystals on top. If I'm gonna be get diabetes, 
this is the way. Three and a half out of five paws. Bear got the Red Stag Cherry Lemonade. So this is just your standard premium lemonade. And that's it? Okay. It tastes like the most artificial lemonade you could possibly get. Not my jam. One out of five lemon flavored vitamins. We have this red stag and lemonade. Uh, I'm not excited because one, it's red stag, and two, it's minute made lemonade, which is probably the most trash lemonade on the planet. But I will cheers this to my friend Darius' wife because she is the only person I know that drinks this disgusting stuff. It's in there, but there's not a whole lot of it. Red Stag does thankfully mix very well. The weak part of this is definitely lemonade. It's almost watery in its flavor with no sort of sweetness, and no like sour at all. It's like vending machine lemonade, which is exactly what lemonade is designed for. Two out of five claws. Don't waste your time on this drink. I decided to forego my beloved Woody's Lunchbox plant-based grilled cheese to give this plant-based lobster sandwich a retry. If you'd like to see the first time that we tried this sandwich, it, I'll put a link to that in the description box down below that is Fall Dapper Day. We decided to try this last year. This is hearts of palm with an Old Bay seasoning and a vegan mayo. If you're the type of vegan that does not do hearts of palm, obviously this is not the sandwich for you. Since it's so messy, I decided to cut it because I really don't want to get my dress dirty today. My biggest complaint about this sandwich was the fact that the hearts of palm were not really like super shredded. They're huge chunks. And now I'm going to cut my bite in half because these chunks are so huge I can't even pick it up. All right. May the force be with me. It's good. It gives you that nice, like, dill vibe to it. If you don't want all the meats, the hearts of palm are great. I like the way this one is seasoned. It tastes a lot better than it did last time. Mm. Mm -hmm. The giant pieces of hearts of palm is still kind of a miss to me. Like, I wish that they were chopped up a little bit more. But these are smaller than the last time that we had this, so it's a little easier to chew and digest. I would say this has improved over the last time that we tried this, so I'd probably give it like a 4 out of 5 palm trees. It's quite delicious. That Old Bay seasoning really sets it off. And then we also have um, house-made chips, which you can find at some of the resorts. Not so much these days but you can find typically at the resorts in the four times. And of course here, nice freshly made sliced potatoes, lightly salted, nice and crunchy. I love those chips. If they sold them like in bags, I would definitely get those over like your standard Lay's or whatever other chips they sell here. Definitely go for house made if you can. I would give them four out of five potatoes. It's great for people that are watching their sodium intake as well because they're not salted. Here we are again at this lobster roll. I give vegan food a lot of props. Other than one pop-up we've been to, nobody has yet convinced me on this whole plant-based seafood thing. I don't expect this to change my mind from last time. These chunks are still way too big. If you're going to go lobster roll, you definitely should go plant-based, regardless of what you're gonna use, you should definitely go heavy on the seasonings. Because lobster rolls are known for that punch and this is not like it's gonna cover that. But, 
Never let it be said that I did not at least attempt to give some food its web redemption. I'll definitely say the seasoning is much improved. Everything is more on the edible side now, but it's still a long way away from lobster. It's more like a potato-less potato salad than it is a lobster roll. But it's got some nice seasonings to it. And the bonus part is that if you make a mess, and I promise you think we're gonna make a mess, you can just scoop out the remaining hearts of palm with the chips. And it gives it a nice little tang and texture to it. Where it is right now, I'll give it a two and a half out of five plus. It feels like a complete redo because last time the princess had the plant-based lobster roll, I had this uh, weird looking salad of sorts. It's less of a salad and more of a taco bowl. This huge chunks of pulled pork. Uh, it was, if I remember correctly, incredibly undressed last time. To fix that, I went to the condiment bar and I got barbecue and honey mustard. And because I'm glutton for punishment, I'm gonna put them both. Reason being is I usually prefer mustard based barbecue sauces. Obviously I'm not getting that here. We'll see if this will get me close. The piece of pulled pork is nice and moist. It's not dry at all. The way they clumped it in here does not do this salad any favors. It makes it incredibly hard to mix because they just clump the uh, pulled pork in the middle without spreading it out a little bit. Feels like I'm gonna break this fork. Look at that, look at that. See this lone radish? Let's see where we are today. I do not regret the barbecue sauce and the honey mustard. Though I still say this is not a salad. But it's somewhat edible. I wouldn't come back for this. It's not exactly what I call memorable, unless they're bad memories. I'm gonna give it a two and a half out of five plus. It's a bib with the little catchy thing. This is like the most, the best invention ever. I appreciate it. I appreciate it all the way up. I'm trying to give you a ride for the whole day. It's a little tight. Just a tip, just a tip. Almost there. That has been our May the 4th at Hollywood Studios. We are about 190 away from the Star Wars store, but we already found out that the May the 4th Magic Bands are sold out. And since we already bought everything we needed to on Shop Disney, there's no reason for us to walk around that store. But we had a great day hanging around like-minded nerds. If you guys came up to us and said hello, I'd like to say a thank you to us. That makes us want to keep doing stuff like this. But if you want to keep seeing other videos like this, the comments are going to be placed. Let us know if there's anything else around Walt Disney where you'd like to see us do. That's going to be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.